Hi. Gil, the motor vehicle has been booted. Yes. You have two red light violations and 10 parking tickets. You have actually 12 parking tickets. What do you want to tell me about this? Um, so during the time that I had all those parking tickets, um, I was in and out of jobs. Um, a lot of those tickets were when I parked and tried to go for job interviews. Um, I was just at a job interview at Rhode Island Hospital and that's where the car got booted. Um, and also like I paid the parking um, and to my surprise when I got out it was my car was booted and I, I have depression, I have anxiety and, and that just got me like super, like I started to cry, I didn't know what to do. Um, like I live by myself here and it's like it's been really hard for me and I just, my car's sitting there and I just don't know what to do now. You actually came down to court yesterday, didn't you? No, I didn't. I called and out of my frustration, I'm so sorry, I yelled at somebody and I didn't mean to, I just, I was so frustrated, I didn't know what to do and I don't have any money. Mr. Butler. Yes, Your Honor. All right, we have Gilda Centino with us this morning. Her motor vehicle has been booted. She indicated to the court that she has a condition where she suffers from anxiety, and she voluntarily said that she was on the phone with someone yesterday and was yelling and screaming at them, and she came in to apologize. This is who you were yelling and screaming at. I'm so sorry. I was just don't so cry. frustrated. Don't, don't cry. I, I accept your apology. Don't worry. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I just, I was so frustrated. He said, oh, you know, nothing can happen. Like, you have to pay the thousand something dollars, and I don't even have five dollars to my name right now. And it was just so hard. I, I didn't know what to say, so I'm so sorry. Your Honor, what happened was she said that she didn't have the thousand dollars to pay. She wanted the vehicle released at that point. And I said the only way that we could release it is if she paid the fine. Yeah. She indicated she was going to come to court today and speak to the judge, yes. which she has every right to do. And yeah. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You had one of your episodes yesterday. Yeah, I, and my anxiety just went so bad. I got so frustrated at myself for not being diligent about paying stuff. And uh, uh, you hear what Mr. Butler said. He said, just relax. You know, he understands. He's from a working class family. You know, we've all gone through situations where, because of financial situations, we get super hyper, you know, we overreact. You, you've never been broke, right? Yes, I have, Your Honor. You have? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I feel for her. You do? I do. All right. I mean, if it was something like 200, maybe I can manage that. And How much can you pay today to get the boot released? Um, I, I don't have any money with me right now. The city has already paid $100 to get to have the boot placed on the vehicle. Okay. Um, I can come up with something tomorrow. I get paid like from my part time that I've been working 20 hours and. I'm going to have you sit down with Mr. Butler. He's a fellow you were yelling at yesterday. Oh, absolutely. It's okay. Don't Thank worry. Okay. Right. He's going to get even now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank and you. he's going to try to work something out with you, okay? Thank you. I feel good about this. I'll tell you why. Because I came in today, Mr. Mr. Butler said to me, he said, you know, he said, I had a very uncomfortable experience yesterday. Yeah. Oh. I said, what happened? He says, I was being yelled at. He says, but you know, I understand. In fairness to him, yeah. he said, I understand people have issues. You know, he says, I don't know what the <laughs> issue was. He said, but it was terrible. Mm -hmm. And then you come in today, and even before yeah. knowing that he said anything to me, yeah. you, know, you acknowledge that. And that means a lot. Thank you. And he's going to try to help you now. Thank this you. is a nice story. Thank you. Okay, the first matter is a matter that we handled yesterday, and that's the matter of Gilda Santino. Gilda, you want to come forward, please? <coughs> come on, Gilda. Hi, how are you? This is a gi different Gilda than we had yesterday. <laughs> what a, you know, there's a, a, an old song, and the name of the song is What a Difference a Day Makes. <laughs> I know. <You> know? <laughs> And Inspector Quinn, you remember that, right? What a difference a day makes? Uh, yes, I do, Judge. Sorry. Remember when you first dated your wife, you know? Yeah. And then, Thank, thanks for the memories, Judge. <laughs> Inspector Carrigan, does one day make a difference? Yes, Your Honor, it does. It does? Well, it certainly is going to make a difference for uh, 
for our court administrator, uh, Pat Butler. Mr. Butler, yes, sir. you want to get front and center here? I'm going to put you at the other mic. <laughs> Your motor vehicle was booted. Yes. And you had a substantial fines. Yes. And in all fairness to you, we don't look so much at the offense. We do look at the offense, but we also look at the person. Because there's many times, you know, th there's a big story behind what people do. Right. And I guess in your case, that there was such anxiety on your part. You, know, you yes. had financial problems. The motor vehicle was booted. You need, you need the vehicle, you know. Yes. And in frustration, you called. And to use the vernacular, you unloaded on Pat. Yes. I, I remember telling him, um, like, how this is so unfair. Like, I remember telling him, like, I never, I never got these tickets. I don't remember getting these tickets. And he's like, well, you have to pay this amount. And I said, this is so unfair. Like, I don't have this money. And, um, and you said, I want the boot released immediately. I want the boot released, yes. Right I, was, now. I was just going off. <laughs> and, you'll t and you'll speak to my attorney. <laughs> and you'll speak to my lawyer. And I said to myself after that, wait, I, how can I get a lawyer? I don't even have money to pay for $1,000. <laughs> Pat, is this the same person you were talking to? No, not at all, Your Honor. Not at all. Well, yeah. I think it's a lesson for all of us, you know, that we really have to listen to, listen to people, you know, in their stories. And sometimes the knee-jerk reaction to all of us would be, yeah. you know, oh, yeah, you want to give us that kind of an attitude? You're going to pay the full fine. Right. But we don't do that here. We step yeah. back. Yeah. You know, we try to look at the totality of circumstances, which Pat did to his credit. Yeah. So anyway, you came in yesterday, and at the end of the day, I says, I think it would be appropriate if we have the court administrator make a recommendation to the court as to what the fine should be. Right. And so you remember what your, I do, Your, your recommendation? Yes. And she's already fulfilled a portion of that uh, agreement. It was $150 today to have the boot released, mm -hmm. and then $50 a month until the balance is paid off. Okay, and she came in this morning? Yes, and, and the boot has actually already been removed. Oh, great, thanks. <laughs> so are you Thank satisfied you. with that? Absolutely, you guys are amazing. Did Mr. Butler treat you with respect? Absolutely. This is a great way to end the week. I know it is. <clears throat> okay. The boots Thank released. you so much. Okay. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Also, Thank on you. behalf of the court, lose our number. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm never getting a parking ticket again. I, I swear. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Mr. Harrison, you have two red light violations, uh, one on Service Road 7 and one on Roger Williams and Elmwood. Okay. Um, you want to see them? Yeah, sure. You see that sign that says right turn after a stop? There's a reason for that. Right, Your Honor. Um, Lights, please. That that sign is like I misinterpret ways under, I'm understanding the sign because um, you know I was I, I was trying to you know figure out like is that sign saying like first of all, wait, wait, wait. what did you think the sign said? I'm saying, I'm thinking the sign says, basically, after you turn, you know, make a stop. Right turn on red. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Enlarge that stop. sign. Enlarge that sign. Right on red. After. St after stop. Yeah, so it's wait, like. Right on red. After. After stop. stop. After you turn, my compre comprehension, after you turn, take a right. So, so I'm you, wondering, so, like, so you're just saying it. So you figure, <laughs> you figure coming down the hill, you make the turn, and then you stop so the guy behind you, right, can, right. the guy behind you can rear end you, and then you can go on a case. No, basically. You can then get a whiplash. No, sir. Right? Basically, because you know you can turn on a red light, right? If you know traffic is coming, you, you have the right to turn on a red light, right? That's what my whole comprehension of it is like. I'm trying to figure it out. So I know it's a red light, and I'm, I'm being precautious, but I'm, I'm making my turn. That's all my misunderstanding of it, basically. I, I mean, that's how I think. It says right turn after stop, like then stop or whatever, after stop. That's my comprehension. They're having a uh, conference in uh, Reno, Nevada, of all the traffic engineers in the country, and I think you should address them. 
I can analyze and mix up anything. I'm telling you. You could? <laughs> yeah, so. Oh. I'll tell you what. You're way above me <laughs> analyzing and mixing that one up. Bro. I'm, I'm Even you like, and I tried. Yeah, I couldn't I mean, comprehend what I you seen that, go out I there. seen that sign, and I've been debating, like, not to ask Ooh. somebody because it sounds stupid. Ooh, yeah. so, I said, so I said, maybe yeah. I'll go through it and find out the... The, you know, but I, was, I didn't understand it. When really. this was running around in your mind okay. before you got up to testify, did you really think no, that was going to no, sound I've, good? I've been like, what is the answer? What's the answer to it? You know what I mean? Because I know you can turn a red on red. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm Your like, Honor, I believe there's another one. Judge. I can't wait for the next explanation. <laughs> I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. All right, here we go. All right, this is um, Service Road 7 in Broadway. You can't make a right-hand turn unless you stop. It's the same deal. Yeah, and I didn't realize the sign that was right there. I, I had my mind thinking, it's red light, make a right turn. It was, it was late at night. Speak into the mic, please. I said I do security. I work at Brown, so I was up late, busy day. I was just trying to get home. And like my mind thinking, it's red light. I'm just being honest that I can take a right. I, you know, if there's one thing about you, I know you're being honest, right? I'm, I don't necessarily agree with your my position. My comprehension. Your position. Right. But, yeah. And this, yeah. this one I can understand. This one I can understand, okay? Uh, I think you even made an attempt to stop. So I'm going to give you a break on this one. On the other one? You want me to pay one of them, right? <laughs> to learn the lesson, right? <laughs> well, judge, uh, <laughs> you cleared up that comprehension in a hurry, Judge. Another lesson. You, you want me to learn one the other, all right? You're, you're a quick learner. <laughs> well, let me okay, ask you. I have some time to pay on that because, you know, the holidays really <laughs> got me. Have some time. Well, I thought you would. Uh, yeah, I'll give I, don't, you, I'll I don't know if you're going to cut it down to, like, half of that. No, I'm not doing that. No. Uh, no. For a guy that has trouble comprehending, you're a pretty good negotiator. We found a strong suit, Judge. <laughs> it's eighty-five dollars. We'll give you all the time you need to pay it. Thank you, sir. Happy uh, New Year. Uh, and have a good night. Day. One glance at my school transcripts will prove that I should be the last person on earth to give advice on reading comprehension. However, in this case, I feel I'm qualified enough to make an exception. Undoubtedly, there are confusing traffic signs. However, if a sign that reads, right on red after stop completely baffles you, then maybe it's time to consider public transportation, not only for your safety, but mine as well. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.